Hey everyone and welcome to part 3 of this electrical upgrade. In this video we'll be installing the Victron MPPT Smart Solar Charge Controller purchased from Battleborn Batteries as well as two HQST monocrystalline slim solar panels. The only part I'm nervous about in this segment is drilling a hole into the roof. So let's hope I don't mess it up. If you have not seen parts one and two and are interested in the full project, I'll post links to them up here or up here. I'm not sure which side it goes on. Um, and I highly recommend that you watch them to get a full picture of what we did on this electrical upgrade. So without any further delay, let's get some solar installed. <laughs> Okay, so we have two boxes here where we're running our wiring from our solar panels down into the um, closet in our bedroom. And this one holds the negative cables, and this one holds the positive cables. Um, this one also has the hole going down into the closet. And then we set up, to test out if we knew what we were doing or not, we set up just two panels and mounted them with the Renogy mounting kit and then I also used a homemade mounting kit and we'll see which one holds up better. Okay from the roof we ran our wiring for the charge controller through our bedroom closet. Um, comes through the roof right there, runs down and we have an area underneath for the washer and dryer that we don't use. So we, we ran the cable through that space underneath where the washer and dryer lines go. Then we ran it through the underneath the dresser and then down into our basement bay. Okay, so here's the underneath part of the actual solar install. We have the Smart Solar MPPT15085 uh, solar charge controller and I ran the positive and negative battery cables into here the batteries are just on the other side of this wall there just wasn't enough room in there to fit this and then from the roof we have the wires coming down they run um, the positive runs through a fuse and into a shutoff switch so I can disconnect the batteries from the solar from right here instead of having to climb up and unhook them or anything. Um, and then the positive goes into the solar charge controller and then the negative runs from the roof into the solar charge controller. So I'm on Battleborn's blog page and I'm actually on page two and I'm looking for the programming for the MPPT Victron solar charge controller. 
and I see it here so we'll open it up and if you go to this blog it shows how to program the Victron solar charge controller for use with the lithium batteries and there's a video and you can watch it and also be sure to read the comments because there is also some helpful information there so you watch that video take the information and go to your Victron connect connect your smart solar con charge controller and we're now connected so when you go to program you go up here to the little wheel and you click on battery you put in your battery voltage you set your max charge current um, you want to allow you want the charger to be enabled uh, and then for your absorption voltage you want it to be 14.40 volts the maximum absorption time for me is two hours because they say on that blog to allow to calculate 30 minutes per battery and I have four batteries float voltage is 13.6 volts and no equalization and those are the only settings you need to worry about for getting the Victron solar controller to work with the Battleborn batteries okay so that's all there is to it um, the solar wiring and install is completely done I would like to apologize for not filming in as much detail as I had in the previous two videos, but a couple of issues. The weather here in Florida, it rains on and off all the time right now, so it was hard to time it just right so I could get the filming in and get the install done before the next rainstorm hit. So I had to film it in parts and pieces and I missed uh, running the wires and things like that, so I apologize for that. Now that we know that our solar is working, we're going to be able to add some more panels. I hope to get up to 900 watts up on the roof. That should fully take care of what we planned on using the solar for. I do have one more video in the series, and that will outline all of the costs associated with this install, as well as our impressions of doing it ourselves versus having it professionally done as well as our overall impressions of the system in using it so far. So until we see you in that part, or until we see you on the road, safe travels.